which was Britain's best V bomber. Well, since we're going to walk around one, let's start with the Hanley Page Victor. Can you believe it? It flew just 13 years after the first flight of the Halifax bomber and was introduced in 1958. What a huge leap in technology. It was the last V bomber to enter service with the Royal Air Force as part of the UK's nuclear deterrent. With Soviet advancements in anti-aircraft missile technology, the aircraft role was switched from high altitude bombing to low level flying to help avoid interception. Flying at high speeds at low levels puts an awful lot of strain on the aircraft as the air is a lot more turbulent at low levels and this led to the aircraft suffering a number of fatigue cracks. This paired with the introduction of the Royal Navy submarine launched Polaris nuclear missiles led to the Victor's role being switched from a nuclear bomber to an air-to-air -air refueler in 1968. The Victor's Valiant was Britain's first V bomber and it first flew just six years after the Second World War ended in 1951. It was involved in conventional bombing missions over Egypt during the Suez Crisis where it operated from Malta. As with the Victor, when Soviet air defences were improved, it switched from a low-level role which, as you know, gets the airframe an absolute hammering. By the same company that produced the Lancaster, the Avro Vulcan took to the skies in 1952, just 11 years after Lancaster's first flight. They even managed to keep on flying until 2015. I think I'd have to say that Avro Vulcan was Britain's best V bomber. It remained in service as a bomber for the longest and, in my opinion, has the most revolutionary design, particularly for the aircraft that was designed in the 1940s. Which do you think was the best?